Hello everyone, welcome to Chirac's ASP.NET c tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how to get a drop down of the country, state, city drop down list using the database in ASP.NET c -Sharp. So, we have uh, three things uh, need to do here. One is country, uh, uh, country is related to state and state is related to city. Means when I will select the India, it will uh, select, uh, it will show you the state, all the state name. When I will select the state, it will just show you the city name. So all, all three things are connected to each other. So first thing, I'm going to create the page for the drop down. Okay. So just right click on your project name. We already studied about the how to create the project, how to create the page. Uh, how to create the master page and other thing so right click on the your application name and go to the add and there is your option add new item or h per your visual studio you have option so i want to create the web form that is tree city i'm giving the name for that and just click on ok So wait for few seconds if it is loading. So first thing we need to get the data from the database. So stay country details, state details, and city details will be in my database, and I'll get the detail from the database. And this will be dynamic. So whenever I will select the country, all the country related state will come. When I'll select the state, so all the city will come on that. So now this is my page. So, just get the drop down from here uh, with the toolbox and do it. Uh, I have already coding, so I am doing with that. Let me check on SPX page coding. So, for that, I need the script manager. So, be sure about that. I will provide the code in my uh, website. Save. So, this is the coding. So I am using the script manager. I am using some classes, home group. We are not using any bootstrap uh, CSS, so it won't work. That's not an issue. So there is one label that I am writing the country, and there is the update panel I am using. Update panel I am using the drop down drop down list, and just remember this name of the drop down list. Drop down DDL drop down list of country, and this uh, auto post back true. And there I'm using the on selected index chain, DDL country selected index chain. Whenever the country will be selected, the related all the state will be automatically selected. For that I'm using using the asynchronous post back trigger. So I'm using the trigger for the control ID DDL country. Whenever it will change, it will control the DDL ID. Same thing I'm doing for the DDL state and DDL city. So DDL state also I am writing one select index change that will select the DDL selected index change is there but in DDL city I am not doing anything like that because I don't uh, have uh, don't want to get any data after uh, selecting the DDL city so, so this is my page so go to the source page dot CS page you can expand and you can go to the CS page on CS page we need connect with our database using system dot data using system dot data dot sql client using system system dot this thing we need now i have a uh, cs page coding also i'm going to put that coding i will go through by one by one this is my coding i'm removing already we have a page load function in my coding so i'm removing this adding that we need the connection so spell connection getting from the other pages So 
this is my connection name connection co double n is equal to sql connection con string i'm connecting the column con string con string defined in the web config web config will go that is on connection string that is a con string defined by here and here we are defining the data source where is the local source local host and this is my database name and this is a user id and password for the accessing the database so i'm doing with the web config i'm calling that and there is a whenever it will come first function it will call the page load function so page load function i'm calling the bind ddl country so bind ddl country we have a function here so open connection then select country country id from the country where is active is equal to one so each country is active then only i'm just selecting the country from the database and this is the using for the data reading the data so data source dr and ddl country item whatever the item whatever the list is there i'm going to clear again i'm adding one uh, one item there please select your country in data uh, text field i'm taking the country data value field i'm taking the country id why i'm taking the country id whenever the it will select in the second page I mean, whenever i will change the country here whenever i'm change, changing the country it is calling a function on selected index in so on selected index in function is defined here so it will call the ddl state so ddl state is defined here defined here i have written the similar code only the table and table column names are changed because this from coming from the database country state and third one is a state city so this is the state city this is a third table we are selecting the uh, city so let me create the table so go to our databases login to state activate account go to the new query let me get the query from i have already written the query so for the creating database So this this is my query okay. so now i'm creating the table country with the country id country name ejective and uh, here i am just assigning the primary key on uh, country id second is country state here state id on primary and third is so foreign key i'm assigning here country state i'm foreign key assigning at the on the country id references to the country id so this is the way to we can assign the foreign key to any table and similar i'm doing for the state state id city uh, city id state id country city name and there is a ejective but here also i'm assigning the state id as a foreign key completed successfully go to the table refresh you will able to see the country state and city we don't have data now okay we don't have data now on any table let me run the page first country state city so let's right click on them view in browser you can run from here also opening with the browser firefox i'm opening so in country we have a please select your country but we don't have any country name in our database so country is not coming so go to your database and just insert some data so I'm going to insert in country. Country ID zero one. Country name India. Zero one. One zero two. USA. I'm adding two only. Okay. Close. Go to the country state. So state ID 101, country ID 101 is the India. So I'm using the country ID, state name. This time I'm using 
tell him eject is equal to one one more state i'm going to add one zero zero two one zero one then uh one so i'm going to add one more three one zero zero three one zero two us State name there. I'm using the random name. Okay, so that will be so. So I'm using for the US. Okay. Next, I'm going for the state, uh, state and city. So just remember that one or two is Jharkhand, one or one is Delhi. ID 1001 street ID 1001 then Delhi Delhi there is a let's assume that ABC any city is ABCD you can write uh, the name like Silver lab. I'm adding any city, random city. Okay. So now let me refresh the page. So city, uh, country is coming, India and USA. India I'm selecting. State is coming. State list is coming. So select the state, Delhi or Jharkhand. So I'm using Delhi. So there is a Anand Bihar is there. If I'm selecting Jharkhand. So there is a Ranchi. If I'm selecting USA, then the state will be silver land and there is a random city. If I'm going to um, just hide the USA. So I'm ejected with zero, zero I'm putting. Okay. Now let's see. Refresh the page. We don't have the USA now. So eject is also working. So this is the way you can create the state, city and country drop down. So I will provide you the all the script on my website. So go through that. Thank you for watching.